This is a video reviewer for the SM Foundation College Scholarship Qualifying Test. This is SM Scholarship Reviewer Number 1, featuring questions on numerical ability. There are 10 questions featured in this reviewer. All questions are modeled on actual questions that appeared on previous SM Scholarship Qualifying Tests. Before you proceed, please don't forget to subscribe to Review Central and click the bell icon to make sure you are notified of all new reviewers and other important updates. Let's begin. Question number one. What is the arithmetic mean of a set of 20 numbers if their sum is 340? A. 15. B. 16. C. 17. D. 18. E. 320. The correct answer is C. 17. The arithmetic mean of a set of numbers is simply the average of the given numbers. In this case, we don't know the specific numbers, but we were given their sum and the number of elements in the set. So to get the arithmetic mean or average, we simply divide the sum by the number of elements in the set. 340 divided by 20 equals 17. Therefore, the arithmetic mean is 17. Question number two. Given the equation, 16y equals 2 raised to the quantity 4 plus x. Solve for y. A. 2 raised to x. B. 2x. C. 2. D. 4. E. 16. The correct answer is A. 2 raised to x. To solve this problem, we need to use the rules of exponents. Recall that using the rules of exponents, we can rewrite the given equation as 2 raised to 4 times 2 raised to x. 2 raised to 4 is 16, so our equation now reads as 16y equals 16 times 2 raised to x. From here we can simply cancel out 16 from both sides of the equation, leaving us with y equals 2 raised to x, which is our answer. Question number 3. If 2ab plus 6a equals 4, and a equals 1 half, b equals a 1 half, b 1, c 2, d 4, e 5. The correct answer is b 1. This is a simple algebraic equation. To solve for b, we first factor our 2a from the left side of the equation. Then we substitute the value of a. Simplifying, we should quickly arrive at b equals 1. Question number 4. Given the two sets x and y as follows. x equals negative 7, negative 3, 2, 1, 5, and 8. And y equals negative 8, negative 3, negative 1, 2, 5, 8, and 9. Which of the following is equal to the sum of the elements of x intersect y? a. 0 b. 4 c. 6 d. 12 e. 16 The correct answer is d. 12. Step 1. Find the intersection of x and y. This will be the set of numbers, minus 3, 2, 5, and 8. Step 2. Add the elements of the intersection. Minus 3 plus 2 plus 5 plus 8 equals 12. 12 is the correct answer. Question number 5. In a certain geometric sequence, 5 is the first term and 45 is the third term. What term is 3645? A. 5. B. 7. C. 40. D. 81. E. 729. The correct answer is B. 7. Step 1. Recall the formula to find the nth term of a geometric progression or GP. A n equals A 1 times R raised to the quantity n minus 1. Where n is the number of terms, A n is the nth term of the progression, A 1 is the first term, and R is the common ratio. Step 2. Since the first and third terms are given, we can use the formula to first find the common ratio, r. With n equals 3, we substitute the values to the formula and should quickly arrive at, r equals 3. 
Step 3. With r equals 3, we can now proceed to solve for n, when a n equals 3645. 3645 equals 5 times r, raised to the quantity n minus 1. Simplifying, we should arrive at 729 equals 3, raised to the quantity n minus 1. Since the right side is expressed as an exponent with base 3, we should express 729 as an exponent also with base 3, which is 3 raised to 6. With the left and right sides now both expressed as exponents with a common base, we can simply cancel out the bases. From here we should quickly arrive at n equals 7. Alternatively, if you don't know the formula, you can just keep multiplying by 3, starting from 5, until you reach 3645. You should get to 3645 on the 6th cycle. Counting the products, including 5 as your first term, you should have 7 terms. The fastest way to solve this is to keep multiplying by 3, starting from 5, using a calculator, if you are allowed 1 in your exam. Just make sure to do your counting very carefully. Question number 6. What is the sum of all the factors of 24? A. 46 B. 49 C. 50 D. 60 E. 66 The correct answer is D. 60. The factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. Adding them all up, we should arrive at 60. Question number 7. What is the greatest number of threes that can be multiplied together and still have a result less than 250? A. 3. B. 4. C. 5. D. 6. E. 7. The correct answer is C. 5. 3 raised to 1 equals 3. 3 raised to 2 equals 9. 3 raised to 3 equals 27. 3 raised to 4 equals 81. 3 raised to 5 equals 243. 3 raised to 6 equals 729. Therefore, the answer is 5. Question number 8. On a school trip there must be two chaperones for every 25 students. How many chaperones need to be on a trip if 180 students are on the trip? A. 16. B. 15. C. 14. D. 13. E. 12. The correct answer, B. 15. This is a simple ratio and proportion problem. Let's write the ratio and proportion equation as follows. 2 over 25 is equal to x over 180, where x is the number of chaperones needed to accompany the 180 students in the school trip. Cross multiplying, we simply solve for x and should quickly arrive at x equals 14.4. A chaperone is a person, so of course there cannot be 14.4 persons. But 14 persons won't be sufficient to satisfy the 2 is to 25 chaperone to student ratio, so it will have to be 15. Question number 9. Point A's coordinates are x equals 3 and y equals z, and point B's coordinates are x equals z and y equals 10. If the slope of line AB is 6, z must be A, 4, B, 5, C, 5.5, D, 6, E, 7. The correct answer is A, 4. Recall your slope formula given two points of a line. The slope, m, equals rise over run, or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Substituting the values of the slope m, and y1, y2, x1, and x2 from the given coordinates of a and b, we should arrive at the equation. 6, which is the slope, equals 10 minus z, over z minus 3. After cross-multiplying, we should be able to quickly solve for the value of z, which is 4. Question number 10. What is the area of the figure as shown? A. 10 square units. B. 20 square units. C. 30 square units. D. 40 square units. E. 50 square units. 
The correct answer is B, 20 square units. Let's recall our Pythagorean formula and use it to find the length of the base. C squared equals A squared plus B squared, where C is the hypotenuse of a right triangle, and A and B are its two other sides or legs. Remember that the Pythagorean formula works only with right triangles, so we'll have to split the given triangle into two, as shown. We should arrive at the values of B1 and B2 as 7 and 3, respectively. Therefore, B equals 10. Finally, with both the height and the base of the triangle already known, we can now solve for its area. We should quickly arrive at 20 square units as our correct answer. You have just watched the SM Foundation College Scholarship Qualifying Test, Reviewer Number 1, featuring questions on numerical ability. Check out more related review videos and playlists on our channel. If you find this useful, please like and share. Leave a comment to share your thoughts or questions regarding this reviewer or any particular part of it. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to Review Central and click the bell button to get notified of all future reviewers and updates. Like and follow us on your favorite social media platforms. Good luck to your forthcoming SM Foundation College Scholarship Qualifying Test, and we look forward to congratulating you for becoming an SM Scholar.